can write and solve equations to answer questions like this one. If we know the area is 36 square meters, what is the length? We know the area of a rectangle is base times height. The base has a length of 5x plus 2. And the height has a length of 3. In the question, they tell us that the area is 36 square meters. To figure out the length of this rectangle, first we need to solve the equation for x. Let's stop for now on this question and revisit it later after we've reviewed how to solve equations with the balancing method. The key concept when solving equations with the balancing method is to solve for the variable by using inverse operations. This one step equation says x minus negative 9 equals 6. To undo subtracting negative 9, we add negative 9 to both sides. We get x equals negative 3. Let's check and make sure it worked. We'll take negative 3 and substitute it back into the original equation. When we subtract a negative, we can think of that as adding a positive. Here's one for you to try. Here's an equation with a fraction in it. No need to panic though. Let's think of it as a division problem. I'm going to rewrite it as 10 equals negative 2m over 3. Now to undo divide by 3, we can multiply both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. So those cancel out, leaving us with negative 2m on the right side. 3 times 10 is 30. To undo multiply by negative 2, we divide both sides by negative 2. And we get negative 15 equals m. Let's check and make sure it works. We'll substitute negative 15 in for m. We can rewrite that as 10 equals negative 2 times negative 15 divided by 3. Here's one for you to try. Here's another two-step equation. The first thing we're going to undo is the 5. So we'll subtract 5 on both sides. 5 minus 5 is 0. That leaves us with x over 3 on the left side. And 23 minus 5 equals 18. Now we have x over 3, or x divided by 3, equals 18. So we need to undo divide by 3. To undo division, we multiply. But we need to keep everything balanced, so we also have to multiply by 3 on the right side. 3 divided by 3 equals 1, leaving us with x on the left side. 18 times 3 is 54. We'll substitute 54 for x in the original equation. works. Here's one for you to try. Before we move on to the next example, let's review some important vocabulary. 
Like terms are terms where the variable and the exponent are the same. For instance, let's figure out which of these terms are like terms. Let's find a like term for 4y. So 4y and 7y are like terms because they have the same variable. Negative 2 and 6 are like terms because they're both constants. x squared and negative 3x squared are like terms because they both have the same variable, x, and they both have the same exponent, 2. Here's a key concept that will help us solve equations with variables on the same side. When there are variables on the same side of the equal sign, just combine like terms. Let's solve 5x plus 3 minus 2x equals 24. We notice there are like terms on the left side of the equal sign. So we start by combining our like terms. 5x plus negative 2x equals 3x. Notice we're not doing inverse operations there. To undo plus 3, we subtract 3. So now we're doing, or now we're using our inverse operations. The inverse of times 3 is divide by 3. Here's one for you to try. To get rid of parentheses in our equations, we can distribute or divide. On the first example, let's distribute. 6 times x is 6x. 6 times 2 is 12. We undo add 12 by subtracting 12. We need to be careful here because 3 divided by 6 does not equal 2. We can simplify that fraction, and we notice it equals one half. So in the first example, we got rid of the parentheses by distributing the six. In the second example, we could do the same thing well, let's try using division. Now in this case, instead of distributing the negative 9, let's undo the multiply by negative 9 by dividing both sides by negative 9. Negative 9 divided by negative 9 equals 1. So we end up with z minus 1 equals negative 3. To undo minus 1, we add 1. But whatever we do on the left side, we have to do on the right side also. And we get z equals negative 2. We'll check our answer real quickly. Negative 2 minus 1 equals negative 3. And negative 9 times negative 3 does equal 27. And here's one for you to try. When solving a multi-step equation, you can use DCI to make sure you're undoing in the correct order. First we get rid of parentheses by distributing. 
Then we combine like terms on the same side of the equal sign. Then we use our inverse operations. Let's give it a try. Before we distribute the 2, let's remind ourselves that we're actually distributing a negative 2. I'm going to change that to plus negative 2. So we have 8x plus negative 2x plus negative 14. First we got rid of the parentheses by distributing. Now we're going to combine like terms on the same side of the equal sign. To undo plus negative 14, we can add positive 14. And we get x equals 5. And 40 minus 24 does equal 16. So x equals 5. Here's one for you to try. Now back to our original equation. If we know the area is 36 square meters, what is the length? First we get rid of the parentheses by using the distributive property or by dividing. In this case it's probably easier to divide. 3 divided by 3 is 1. But whatever we do on one side of the equation, we have to do on the other side also. 36 divided by 3 equals 12. Undo plus 2, we minus 2. Whatever we do on one side, we do on the other side. To undo 5 times x, we divide by 5. And we get 2 equals x. Now the question is, what is the length? So we're actually not done yet, because 2 is not the length. Remember our picture, the length is 5x plus 2. We know that x equals 2, so we'll take that 2 and substitute it into the expression for the length. 5 times 2 plus 2. 10 plus 2, which equals 12. So the length of the square is 12 meters. Quick little mental check, 12 times 3 equals 36 square meters. Let's answer with a sentence. In this lesson, we reviewed how to solve equations using the balancing method.